Battlefield, a game franchise known for its large-scale infantry and vehicle warfare with insane visuals. But you know what's got better visuals than a video game? Or, so I hear, real life. Yeah, it does exist. Honestly, the graphics are great. You should go and check it out sometime. I hear they've got Pokemon too. So what if I told you that Battlefield would be making its way to your TV screens, but not via your gaming console? Oh no, Battlefield is getting its own TV series. Dice, please. Let that sink in for a second. Battlefield is going to get its own TV series. Paramount Television and Anonymous Content have acquired the rights to a Battlefield TV series based off the franchise. Right now, that's pretty much the only information we have, so we don't have any idea of how the show will be structured or even what setting it's going to be based in. Of course, Battlefield over the years has been through many settings, and right now we're preparing to play Battlefield in World War I. So the question is, what time frame will the TV show be set in, or will it be set in multiple timelines? Let's take a look. The way I see it, there are a few clear-cut options here. In light of BF1 being set in the Great War, they could create the series around the First World War, and depending on what their vision is, I'm picturing in my head an incredible Band of Brothers-esque TV show here, but in reality, that would require a substantial budget, stellar directors, amazing actors who cost a lot of money and who knows what sort of scope they're going for here. Maybe the BFTV series will be nowhere near that. Another option of course is a bad company style show where you follow the capers of a group of soldiers or a squad, something a bit more light-hearted maybe. What if it was the Battlefield Friends? That would be hilarious, I'm sure. Having met those guys in real life, the banter they have is naturally funny, real and endearing. But while so many fans loved Bad Company and that style of game, I'm not sure how well it would translate to the big TV screen. And well, in reality, I'm not sure it's best to show off the Battlefield franchise. Or a bit left field this, could they base it around the Phantom program? How cool would that be? The origins and inception of it in World War One, and then it develops into 1942 Vietnam and all the way through to modern day. Of course the show could just stick to a realistic modern day setting and follow say the events of BF3 or BF4, but I feel like modern combat would be the least interesting out of all of them. Let's be honest here, the only good modern military TV series I've seen was Generation Kill. Definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it and it's only 7 episodes long. Having said that though, there isn't really a large scale military TV show around right now. Strike Back is alright but that's all about undercover agents and it's not really based around the army. Ultimate Force was a TV show around in the UK years ago and that covered the SAS but it was much more of a drama than anything else. I've been trying to think of a non-documentary TV show depicting the modern military setting apart from Generation Kill that was excellent and I can't really come up with anything to be honest. Films, yeah there's loads of them but not a TV show so maybe there's a gap and an opportunity there. The fact of the matter is though that we have no information to go on just yet so it's all guesswork. We've got absolutely no idea how large scale this TV show will be, but we have to assume that it'll be fairly high budget considering it's Paramount TV and EA and the whole mantra of Battlefield is large scale with vehicles, so that itself tells you that it's got to be a pretty large budget, lots of unknowns here, but it's definitely pretty exciting to say the least. Potentially awful, let's not get our hopes up here. Video game to TV and movie adaptations are usually diabolical pieces of filmmaking, but potentially good with the right script, actors and directors. What we do know though is what TV shows Paramount Television and Anonymous Content have worked on previously, such as Mr. Robot, and that's one of my favourite modern TV series, Criminal Minds, NCIS, Minority Report and School of Rock. Okay, that last one might not fill you with confidence, but there is a of course a massive list and some are nowhere near the genre that Battlefield is and that's to be expected because Paramount does a ton of different TV shows. Anonymous content on the other hand they've worked on Mr. Robot like I just said and also on some pretty cool films recently like Triple Nine and The Revenant. Also it's been revealed that Michael Sugar who's an Academy Award winner and Ashley Zolta they're both from Anonymous content they're going to serve as executive producers on the Battlefield TV show. Now like I said before from that list of programs there aren't really any in the same setting as Battlefield. However in this situation it's not what they've worked on in the past but more about 
what direction they're currently taking and when you see what projects they're currently working on a lot of them line up pretty well. So what are these recent projects Paramount have worked on then? Well do you remember a film from 2007 with Mark Wahlberg called Shooter? He was a sniper framed for a crime that he didn't commit. I know we've heard that before but that's being turned into a TV show. Sure it's not Battlefield but it's got a kind of similar military theme. And then we've got Jack Ryan, he's also getting his own TV show based off the same name. Even a film from 2002 called Narc and that revolves around a suspended narcotics officer being remade by Paramount. Now why am I listing these and what do they all have in common? Well they're all pretty gritty programs, NCIS, Criminal Minds, these are cop shows but they can also be pretty unrealistic in parts. Jack Ryan is an action packed story, Shooter is all about an army sniper and Narc is a gritty cop show. My point is I think from these future projects and stuff they've worked on in the past you get a sense of for what the Battlefield TV show may be like and if they pull it off it could be fantastic. I'm an optimistic person in general and I personally think that this is exciting times for gaming and the Battlefield franchise. You've only got to see the hype around the reveal for BF1 and the EA Play event to see how far the franchise has come and the massive audience that it's gained so hopefully this TV series will just add to that. Let's be realistic here, with the wrong execution this TV show could be awful and leave a stain on the franchise, it could just become a joke. So if I was EA and DICE I'd be treading very carefully with this one and overseeing a lot of the early creative choices and storytelling. And that's all for today folks, do let me know your comments down below. Does a Battlefield TV show sound appealing to you, is there potential there or is this something that they should completely write off and just pretend it never happened? Remember, if you want to pick up a Jack Frags Armoury t-shirt, you've got around 24 hours now before they're gone for good. Link is on the screen and in the description below. As always, thank you for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you in the next one.